Hi, I'm James Schilling Law, and I'm here at Muncaster Castle in the Lake District in England. And we're on a tour with Visit Britain. And I'm here with Peter Frost Pennington, who actually owns this castle with this family. And we've interviewed his son. Uh, I think you said your, your wife, your wife, uh, Iona, is actually the real boss. But uh, we'll talk about that in a second. And Peter just gave us a wonderful tour of the castle. And we just had a wonderful, wonderful lunch. And we're going to talk about how you and your clients can experience this wonderful castle in the Lake District here on Insider Travel Report. Now, Peter, first of all, that was a marvelous tour. You have so much knowledge about this, even though, as you said, you married into the family, but you are now, you are now a Pennington, and uh, you, know, you, you went, uh, explained every portrait, which is great. Uh, talk a little bit about the history of this castle. Uh, well, Monks is a very special place. Now, yes, you, you corrected yourself, really, but I'm married to the owner. I'd never say I'm, <laughs> I'm the owner. You're married um, to the owner. But, but what's great about Monks, there's f many fabulous historic houses in, in, in Britain and Ireland, um, but we used to live in it. Many of them have become museums or, or beautifully cared for uh, by other organisations. But the Pennington family lived here for over 800 years, and we're very much involved. So I think the uniqueness of Monkster is we're normally here or hereabouts, and if you really want, we can give you a tour or join you for lunch or afternoon tea or something like that, or even just say hello. So it is a family home. It's uh, developed through the centuries from a medieval fortress mm -hmm. to being I wouldn't say modern, but this, this Victorian house that's been redesigned to impress an entertaining style. And we love doing that. We love welcoming people here from all over the world. And we can give you a right good day out. Yeah, and you then you get the tour of this, the wonderful grounds, wonderful gardens that you can go. There's there's a, a falconry. There's all kinds of things you can experience here at the castle because you have got about like 2,000 acres around the castle, right? That's correct. We have uh, yeah. one of the the best bird of prey centres in the country. We all our birds get out and fly every day, and we love flying them low over the heads of our visitors, and that's with a strong conservation message. Uh, these aren't performing animals. Uh, we're using them to exercise them and get people to fall in love with these birds of prey. There's other peak of the uh, environmental pyramid and if they're fitting well in the environment everything else is fitting well. Well it, it has been a fabulous visit and so we, you, you took us through this is the great hall and we're here with the fire in front you talk, talked about some of the portraits here and some of the the characters in the family over time that was kind of pretty interesting to me. Well, well in the, the, the black sheep are normally the most interesting ones to talk about the goody two shoes are, are good fun but yeah we, we spin a tale or two and we, we hopefully bring history alive and, and we're a living place we're looking to the future but on the past. Yeah, no, absolutely. And then you had a whole portrait gallery, uh, even more portraits. And I understand you have even more upstairs with the living <coughs> space. Right? Uh, we're, when we're the home of the original Tom Fool, you know, expression stop playing the Tom Fool, the original Tom Fool lived here. Um, and so we don't take ourselves too seriously. But I do worry a bit when all my wife's ancestors are bearing down at me from the walls <laughs> and thinking, what is he saying now? But we're really in the en entertainment industry, so we, we hope we give people a fun time, make them feel at home. And, and the, the motto of the house is the ornaments of a house are the friends who frequent it. So for all this grandeur and everything, we love having people coming here and just enjoying themselves. And one of my favorite places in the castle is your library, which is awesome. I the, the library does blow you away. 6,000 books, it's octagonal. It's just such an, and you can almost feel the spirits of that learning in the room. It's, it's the internet of the 18th century. And boy, um, I'm hoping to spend a lot more time there myself over the next few years. Well, there's so many volumes, and you pulled out a few volumes with, uh, uh, like one with a, a, Napoleon, a writing by Napoleon, which was, I was astounding. Right? That's correct, and we're still doing a lot of research. There's so much more to find out, and we love, uh, we have a brilliant team of staff and volunteers, and our volunteers spend hours sifting through the books and the letters and finding out the most incredible facts. Now, what would you say, for, what's the secret to a great visit here? What, what should, uh, we go out to about 110,000 travel advisors, and they're going to try to book their clients here in groups, small groups. W what should they know about organizing a great visit here? Well, the Lake District is a fabulous place to come to anyway, but it's not just about the lakes and the, and, and, and the mountains. Uh, there's lots of other cultural attractions, of which Monkster is, to me, one of the, the best. Uh, we're linked with a little local steam railway. So you can craft, a, a, I wouldn't say a, a visit for almost 
almost anyone, but, but just about everyone, depending on their interests. We can do special interest groups. We just give a great day out for, for friends and family, um, but we can also really deal with the experts because, well, I don't know, I know all that much, but, but we have all sorts of experts come from all over the world and we know the most amazing things here. We got this wonderful collection of chattels and objects in a beautiful setting and, and we can see to the highest mount of England from the front door and it just blows you away. It is breathtaking. It's a very special place. I call it the magic of Munkester. People come here and they often, it's quite a trek to get here where we're not easily accessible, but when you get here, people just relax and they go, wow, this is amazing. And it, it, and it certainly is. I mean, we came, we came here, we came over the mountain and through the Dell, so to speak. Uh, it was actually on mountain goat tours and we went all the way over uh, the mountain on a very, very small tight road with, with the sheep around us and we finally get to this place and it's just a whole other world. There are other roads you can come apart from that one. Oh, there are better, <laughs> that, that isn't only the way. We, we did a, a more uh, scenic way, shall that we say. the most adventurous way and it's great fun to come that route and you really, you, you really get nature in all its grandeur and then you finish off a place like this wow knock your socks off now where can travel advisors go to find out more about and also contact you guys to arrange visits uh, well there's our website www.munkester.co.uk and that's the first stopping off point um, uh, ewan is now taking over and in charge which is great so he's ewan at munkester.co.uk that's e-w-a-n um, but just drop us a line uh, see our website and give us a call you know we'd love to help if we can uh, we're very personable. We we'll do our best to help you, and and um, uh, and we, we we don't like saying no. Occasionally we have to. Uh, we love saying yes, and we can fashion a perfect itinerary working with others in the Lake District because it's a great place to come and visit, and you don't just have to climb hills. Absolutely. Well, Peter, thank you very much. Thank you for that wonderful tour. It's been a wonderful visit here. You heard some of the background of our party was coming out after a marvelous lunch, which was other lunch. story. Uh, I had my, my uh, yeah, right. I had my sticky toffee pudding, which was our, sort of the capper. But again, it's been a great visit here to Muncaster Castle. It's a wonderful place. Well, thank you for coming. And uh, we look forward to loads of lovely uh, people from across the pond coming, enjoying this place too. I'm James Schillinglaw, and this is Insider Travel Report.